Dirt Series has always been about rally sim style racing. Traditional rally racing through a variety of tracks is still what the game is all about, but like a good sequel, Dirt 3 is trying a few new things. Much of the new firsts for the series will be found in multiplayer. For one, players will be able to tackle races with a partner or opponent in split-screen mode. It's pretty self-explanatory, and it's a feature that's been seen in many other games. But Dirt 3 marks the first time that the visual and performance quality of such a mode has passed the test for the franchise. Though not incredibly inventive, it is a nice option to have. A more expected but arguably more interesting addition is party games that introduce some fun and a bit of silliness to the otherwise serious racing action. The three games include a multi-team variant of Capture the Flag and a couple of other modes that are a bit more distinct. The most immediately appealing option might be Outbreak, a zombie-flavored game of tag where infected cars hunt down normal cars in order to spread their disease and score points. If you're clean, you'll want to outrun and outwit infected vehicles for as long as possible. When you catch the bug, you'll be able to see the location of potential targets as they scoot around the map in order to more easily hunt them down. You score points based on how long you can avoid infection and how many normals you can turn to the dark side, the game ending when the last player goes green. Another interesting party activity is Invasion, which is heavily flavored with Dirt 3's drift-heavy Gymkhana focus. Whether you're able to pull off figure eights in 180 degree turns like you'd see in the YouTube videos of this unique motorsport, your goal in Invasion is to navigate an obstacle course in order to earn points. Mowing down a cardboard alien scores you a point, while accidentally tagging a cardboard city deducts you a point. The complex course layouts would make this hard enough already, but competing with other aggressive players for the same targets can leave your car in less than ideal shape. All three party style modes are fairly simple, but additions like these party games seem like they could add a new layer to the Dirt franchise. Look for more Dirt 3 leading up to our full review in May.